Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do an off-the-cuff comparison between the dolls that you see here. Now the main comparison I'm going to do is going to be between Halala here, because she's one of the more popular, Boca beside her, and Hachichi, because they're all very similarly sized. But for points of reference, I also brought along Mui Chan, who is made by the same company as Hachichi. I brought along an A-Zone Emotion Body, and I also brought Blythe along so that we can kind of have a look at all three and see how they compare. And again, I haven't really prepared anything. I'm just going to sort of go through it and look at them one by one. And so this may be good or it may be terrible, but we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm going to start with Halala versus Boca versus Hachichi because like I said, they're sort of the three um, kind of most similar dolls. If you notice, I've got Halala and Boca are in the same outfit. The outfit fits Halala really nicely, but you'll see Boca is a little bit thicker than Halala, so the outfit doesn't really fit her as well. So if you're looking at um, sort of overalls like these are or any kind of tight fitting pants, they're not going to work as well because Boca has a longer torso than Halala has. Hachichi is more similar to um, Halala than Boca is. They're more similar size. She's not quite as thick. She's got a shorter torso. But overall, she is shorter. So in order of height, Boca's the tallest. And then you've got Halala and then Hachichi is just a little bit shorter. They all have the big stylized heads, um, which are super cute. Oh, bummer. Luckily, she's vinyl, so guess what? That's not a huge deal. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to undress them all so we can look at them undressed and get a good, really good look at their bodies. So now they're all three undressed, and so you can have a look and see how the bodies are. They all three have a waist joint around the same place in the waist. So they all three have like the TNT old style Barbie waist. Hachichi's moves the best. Hers is the most uh, movable and flexible of the three. And the torsos you can see between Hachichi and Halala are pretty similar. The arm size of Halala, Halala's got a little bit longer arms and her legs are a little bit longer. If you put them bum to bum, you can see that Halala has legs that are just a little bit longer. Let me put her up so the glare from the table's not there. Her legs are just a little bit longer than Hachichi's. So, but bum to bum and you go up the torso, it's kind of pretty much the same length. So they've got almost the exact same length torso. Although Halala's arms are a little bit longer and her legs are longer. So the same things that fit Hachichi in the torso are gonna fit Halala pretty well in the torso. It's just gonna be a matter of are the pants too long or too short for either one. Now, if you look at Boca compared to them, so I'm going to do Boca to Halala first. Boca is wider, like all around. She is a curvier doll than Halala. And her torso is a little bit longer. So if I put them bum to bum, like so, as best as I can, because they got some big old heads. Uh, Boca's legs are a little longer and her torso is also just a little bit longer. So she's a little bit overall bigger. She's a little bit wider, a little bit um, longer than Halala is. And that's why you see the same outfit that I had them in doesn't really work well for Boca. I thought it would, but it's not, it's not a great outfit for her. So now if I compare her to Hachichi, it's going to be even more different. You can see how different the leg length is between these two. And she is a good bit wider than Hachichi. Um, now, let's talk about uh, their sitting. So, Hachichi 
can do a little bit of a sit here. You can put her arm back and she will sit up. Halala sits straight, so her legs go straight out. Where Hachichi's are pretty much a V, Halala can go straight out. Boca's legs are almost like a gymnast. She, she can't really sit. You can see you can turn her legs for a seated motion and they just keep turning around. And she doesn't really, she can't really sit. So to get her to sit down, um, you can kind of sort of try to do something, but it's not really gonna work with her. And so that's kind of a bummer about Boca is even with the arms back, you can see like she's, bless her heart, she just cannot, she cannot hold a seated pose. So the best sitter here is definitely Halala. And then Hachichi would be the next. And then Boca would be in last place as far as that goes because she just, she can't even, she can't even hold that pose. So... Um, let's compare them to Blythe now. So what I'm going to do with Blythe, and of course Blythe is much taller, but in the torso is where we're going to see Blythe being similar to the other dolls. So I'm going to also undress her so we can have a look at her body as compared to these girls. Alright, so I have Blythe here undressed, and I don't have the other girls ready. I should have unseated them first. And if you look at the torsos, the torsos are very similar between Blythe and Hachichi. And then let's look at Blythe and Halala here. So there's Blythe and Halala. Similar torsos. Halala is wider. A little, well, I say that, but let me look at them. Mm, her waist is a little bit wider, but... Um, and the chest, she's sort of the same. So there's, there she is as far as that goes. And then let's look at Boca as compared to Blythe. And she is much um, curvier than Blythe is. So you can see those two side by side. I know that some Blythe clothes are supposed to fit these dolls, so what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm just going to try to throw this Blythe, and this is a specially made Blythe outfit. I'm going to try to throw this one on Halala and see how the fit is, um, because like I said, I've, I've heard that a lot of Blythe outfits will fit them, but I've actually never even tried it before, so this is an experiment for you guys. Luckily, this outfit's easy on, easy off. And so this is a specially made for Blythe outfit for Halala. And it kind of works. It's much longer, of course, because Blythe has much longer legs and a little bit longer arms. But you could push the sleeves up a little bit and, you know, it could work. It's not ideal. I like the other outfit that's specifically made for her much better. But, again, it works. It's not terrible. So... That could open up some options for you, especially if they're shorter dresses, because this is a short dress on Blythe, but could be like a full length dress on Halala. And same thing, I'm gonna really quickly try to put Blythe into one of these Halala outfits, just so you guys can see how it looks. So you can get an idea for the torsos. So the top, fits actually just fine. That's a beautiful top on Blythe. Actually really gorgeous on her. But the where the real question's gonna be, it's gonna be in these overalls. So let's see how they work. Besides being, I know they're gonna be extra super short. And I tore one of the straps on this one. So I've got to sew it back together, but I've just been lazy and haven't done it all right so here's this outfit on Blythe which kind of the same thing it it works it's not perfect um you can see the shirt's really not long enough to go down into the side here so you get some hip and um buttocks action there showing through but i mean you could make it work like if you're just so a lot of times 
what I try to think about for outfits is, you know, I can't buy tons and tons of outfits, even though it probably seems like I do. You know, there, there comes a time and a limit. But if I've got an outfit that I can share among several dolls, that opens up my photograph possibilities because I like to take pictures of my dolls for Instagram, but I like to do different outfits and um, just different poses and things like that. But if I can do this a, diff a different outfit, no. If I can do the same doll in a different outfit, I think that's a lot of fun, but I can use the outfit across several dolls. So even if it's an outfit that I've used before, I can take a new picture with that same outfit on a new doll and get a totally different picture out of one outfit. So I do like being able to share outfits across dolls. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say, like this would work for a photograph, I think. I could make it work, like I could get the shirt tucked in just right so that she could, so that she wouldn't be showing any skin and it would look okay in a picture. But like to display her in this, I wouldn't do that because it just, it's not, it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't work well enough for me. Same thing with Halala. Would I do a picture in this maybe, especially in the fall, but to display her in this, I wouldn't because it is baggy and it kind of looks sloppy. So that's my take on them versus Blythe. Now, Mui Chan, I'm gonna just bring her out here for a split second because she is much smaller than these other dolls. And she is made by IX doll just like Hachichi is. And Mui Chan is like BJD tiny size. She's like a 1 8 sort of size where these girls are somewhere in between because her body is, let's see, I'm gonna show you guys. Can you tell I like purple hair on the dolls? love purple hair. You can see that body is much, much, much smaller. So, now this is an outfit made especially for, I'm trying to remember if it was made for Mui Chan or if it's like a tiny BJD. Little Miracle Ace made it. Um, but if I try just for fun, let's say I'm going to go with Hachichi since she's also made by IX doll and we'll see how this works on her. I have a feeling it's going to be super duper short. So there it is on her and as expected it is super short. You can see her little blue underwear underneath. But you could use a top like this with um, a pair of leggings if you had them or a pair of jeans if you had a pair of jeans for them. So that's one way you could kind of stretch the wardrobe so if you have BJD tinies and you have a Mui Chan, or if you don't have a Mui Chan but you have BJD tinies, you can stretch your wardrobe with these dolls by using dresses as tops. So that, again, could be a new fun picture or even a display if you're changing your displays around and you want a different display. So that's them. And the last one I wanna bring out here is the A-Zone Emotion Body. And the emotion body is gonna be closest to Blythe. So I know a lot of people um, will actually put a Blythe head on these bodies sometimes. Um, Cause they're really expressive bodies and they move really well and they're pretty sturdy. Um, I've gotten some of the Abitsu bodies and I don't feel like they're as sturdy as the Azon board body, body, body here. So just to quickly show you her, now I've put a um, I like a head on this body because I saw when I was at the Azon store in Japan, I saw um, they had a like a head displayed on one of these bodies and I was like, oh, I gotta do that because it looks so cute because I've always loved like a, like a Chan dolls. I think they're super, super sweet. So if I take her outfit off and you look at her compared to these girls, she is much not only is she much thinner, but she has a more mature body. So you can see she's more like of a either teenager or even young adult where Halala is definitely a child. And same thing, if you look at the back, the torsos are actually pretty close to the same size. She moves so well, she just bends right into where I want her. The torsos are pretty close to the same. So you might even be able to share some things across torsos here. Um, but the legs are much longer, similar to Blythe. You can see bum to bum, um, the A-zone legs are much longer. And so if I quickly do Hachichi 
and bokeh as well compared to her. It's going to be the same story, right? Because they're pretty, pretty similar. So torso, her torso, Hachichi's torso is a little shorter here. So if I put them bum to bum, um, her back sh shoulder comes up almost right to this back joint on the emotion body. And the legs, of course, are much longer. And Boca, of course, she's going to be much chunkier. So Boca is a chunky little thing. I like the way Boca is shaped, though. It just, there's not a lot of people that make clothes just for Boca. Now, I did buy some Halala dresses from Manorata Doll that fit her really well. So, I think it's, if you're going to want to share clothes between Halala and Boca, I would recommend going with dresses and not getting these sorts of outfits like I had because it just doesn't quite work for Boca. Now, it'll work for my other two girls, so if you have multiples, I think it's fine, but if you're really wanting to maximize your wardrobe budget, um, I would say um, get dresses that are made for Halala because that's going to be better for your Boca doll because of the long legs and because she's got this little belly that sticks out, which is so cute. That little distended belly, but she's just a little bit bigger and so the pants don't work well on her. All right, so I've kind of just gone through that quick and like whatever just sprang into my mind. I hope that it was helpful for you guys. If I've missed something or there's something that you want, oh, I think I did miss one thing I want to talk about and that's foot size. If you look at their feet, their feet are almost all the same size. So Boca and Halala have pretty much the same size feet. If you look at Hachichi and Halala, once again, pretty much the same size feet. And then if we want to compare to the emotion body, the emotion foot's a little bit longer, but not a whole lot. And then if we want to compare um, Blythe, the Blythe foot's also a little bit longer maybe, but not, not by much. So they can all share shoes pretty much. You can just put swap shoes around, so that's good because shoes are also sometimes they're the most expensive part of an outfit is just trying to find shoes. So you can switch. I think any of these dolls can wear Blythe shoes. It's not going to be a problem right now. Blythe is wearing OB11 shoes, which may be made in the exact same size as Blythe, and they just may be marketed differently. I don't know because I've never specifically bought a pair of Blythe shoes, which is crazy, I know. Um, but I've never actually bought just a pair of life shoes. But anyway, I think now I've covered it all. And if you have any questions for me of something that I maybe left out, leave them for me in a comment below. Again, thank you for watching because this was not very well prepared. I just brought them out and kind of like the first things that come to my mind. That's what I wanted to go over. But um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.